All right, I plan to do more with this at some point, possibly in my channel, but I figured I'd sort of jump into it to show it off a little bit. So here's Tabletop Simulator. And yes, this is sort of a create a session here, single player. Uh, we'll up up against Solitaire and let's go from there. Alright, so, this is Tabletop Simulator. It is essentially uh, a physics engine that basically lets you play board games, such as Solitaire here. And um, you can basically play like any like, you know, board game that basically like they have DLC for or that's been basically modded in by the community. And there's quite a few you can basically get if you want to. And let's just start playing this a little bit. So, this is a game that... I sort of bought to basically play with other people will. And um, that'd be like Course Knight, Managamar. I'll probably do that in the future at some point. I don't know specifically when I'll do it, but at some point I'll basically do it. Yeah, I'm just going to play a little bit of salt there while I basically just, you know, go around doing stuff. Basically, as you can see, like, you know, um, you can interact with stuff. Basically, there's a whole lot of actions to basically do with stuff. You can shuffle a deck, you can cut a deck, reset a deck. Search, deal, draw, flip, rotate. And basically, like, you know, the idea of this game is that you can, like, use it to, like, you know, play board games and stuff like that. It's got physics for stuff like dice. You can play, like, you know, uh, checkers on it if you, if you have, like, you know, something to play with. I'm playing in Solitaire because Solitaire is obviously, a, you know, a, a game you can play by yourself, so. Let's sort of show off the mechanics, basically. Drop that there, drop this here. Now, I'll say that I like this game a little bit, but I have to note that he also, also, he also has to realize a few other things as well. Like, basically, like, you know, if I was to play, like, a Solitaire game, like, you know, a game that's actually, yeah, like, made for Solitaire, it'd be better over this, because honestly, with this, I'm, like, you know, constantly moving around cars and stuff like that, so... Sometimes, like, you know, like, there's, like, things will be done better. By, like, you know, like, uh, like, properly made games, but this is pretty good, because you can, like, you know, do anything, basically, on it. And that's where the fun really can be, be in this type of game. You can basically do whatever you want. And I have to ask, what's your rules for basically playing Solitaire? Do you draw three cards? Do you draw two? Do you deal three times and then that's it? You've lost? And that's something I know basically about this game. You can basically like play it so that um, you know you can follow whatever rules basically you want to follow. Make your own rules type of thing. I haven't really got these cards right, but whatever. It's not perfect, basically, the engine. I mean, it does what it needs to, for the most part. Now, I'm not, I'm like, not the, like, the greatest, like, you know, um... ...previewer, I guess, of this type of, like, you know, game. I haven't practiced enough, basically, to get, like, all the controls in and stuff like that, but... ...whatever. So, basically, in the future, I plan to have some ideas for, like, playing this game. Um, I was playing with Mangabar and Course Knight um, recently with a game that basically uh, Mangabar basically like you know download from the community. Pretty fun game. Now all these things, I'll just pick them all up and we'll flip the entire thing there, and we'll start over again because you know that's how Solitaire works. Oops. Oh well. And by the way, if you want to like you know rotate cards. Now it's doing like that because you can basically, if you want, you can like hold cards for people. So I could put this here. Now there's a two over there. I could do it with my own hand. Basically, you can, play, you can like hide things in your hand, like you know, because that's the type of game this is. Drop that there. Oops.
There we go. There's an ace. There's a jack. There's all that stuff. Our king. Now, if you play like salt every four, it's like always that thing. Like, where's that space possibly that you basically had? Is there like nine? Is there like you know eight spaces like for cards? I can never fully remember myself. I know it's basically I think seven down here, and then there's like you know the four things up there. Yes, the good times that you can basically have in this type of game. Got that seven there. There's the queen. Drop you right there. Uh, that's not exactly ideal. Good enough. We'll drop that out there. We can go up here. Four can go up there. Whoops. Only six cards basically in the pile now. I probably lost this game by, game by the looks of it. There's the six, the five, the four, and yeah, complete loss because I basically can't move this stuff anywhere. The cards are buried underneath there, so I'm with a little game. And when you basically like hit a wall, you kick the table. Now, you can basically do a lot of things in this game, so... Let's try and show off a little bit more about what we can do. Let's just go in here with uh, a bunch of dice. Um, if we want to, we can do stuff like change the tables and stuff. So, change my table to be like a poker table. So, poker table. Let's change to something else a little bit more. Well, oh, that's interesting, you know, see through glass. There, that works probably best. Alright, so it's basically a table. If I want to, I can put um, objects in here and stuff. So I can put like components such as like, you know, all this stuff here, blocks, boards, stuff like that. There's also tools, by the way. And you have like very interesting tools in here. Like I have like an MP3 player, a counter. There's infinite bags, calculators, and stuff like that. Poker chips, miscellaneous stuff. Uh, now I'm not entirely familiar with what I, uh, basically how to do this stuff. There's a help menu basically to help you out with stuff. So. You can zoom in object with Alt, magnify with M. Different gener um, generous of stuff you can basically do in here. Let's go with classical music. Alright, so, 
Here's some dice. Here's your regular one side dice. Basically, it gives you like you know idea what it is. Basically, you can see it's like there's one dice right here. If you want, you can basically throw it around. So basically, now it's a five. If you want, you can roll multiple dice. And this is like important for like you have to like you know do stuff. So there's like you know the three dice. There's four, four, and five for thirteen. I'm mean, like you know. Roll them out once. Now I got 5, 6, 4 for 15. Uh, there is an off flip type of options for this type of stuff, so... If you want to... Uh, maybe it's R, I think. Yeah, you can pr press, press R and it'll basically, like, you know, flip it for you. That's good for, like, you know, certain, like, you know, games where you don't want, want the dice knocking over stuff because there's a physics engine that, you know, can do stuff like that. There's a, you know, a, a coin flip thing. All right, dice as well. I guess that's a decahedron or whatever it's called. Tokar and Demeyer by Bach. All right, let's just go over here and there we go. We pause the song. But yeah, there's basically lots of stuff you can basically do in this game, and as I said, basically buy to play of like you know games like say Corn Knight or Manigar. We'll, we'll probably possibly do that in the future. And you know what? Probably the best thing I could probably do is just show off a tutorial for this. So let's do that, shall we? All right. So welcome to the tutorial. Please pick up a card for the left mouth button. So you got a single card here. It's a ten. Good, now time to add the card to a deck. You will need to flip it so it stacks. Basically press F so it flips, then drop the card to the deck. Great stacking, now pull one card from the deck. Left click and quickly drag away from the deck, so... There we go. There's a 10 again. Perfect, now let's move the entire deck of cards. Left click and hold the mouse on the deck, so... Basically picked it up. If you want to, you can shuffle the deck. Basically all you have to do is just, you know, do that to it or press R. Great shuffling. Now let's put the card in our um, uh, card in our hand. Drop a single little card above the white name on the table. When a card is in your hand, our players can't see what it is. So basically, right now it can be seen by all the players right now, but if I put it in my hand over here, no one can see it. So it's basically, you know, seven in my hand. You're natural. Now let's shake some dice. Now note that by the way, the dice doesn't go in your hand because like, you know, it's you know, not exactly something you throw in your hand, but whatever. There we go. We rolled the dice. Hold down the right spot and you can move your mouse, so... Woo! Do that if you want to. You can also do pan of, like, you know, the... WSD keys. Zoom time. You can basically use a scroll wheel or Z to, zoom, to toggle zoom. So... Fun. Let's face reset the camera. Alright, now let's get a better look. Hold Alt while bouncing over an object. Basically great for checking out dice roll or read a card. So... I can like you know check out the cards there, I can check out the dice, check out this figurine. Great camera work, time to rotate an object, basically you can press Q or E to rotate it. Rotate this thing. Wonderful spinning, let's pick up more than one object. Hold down an object and press the mouse uh, right mouse or T in our object. So basically if I like click this and then, like you go like, click T here. All right, let's do it like this. There's like a way to like to select like multiple stuff, like you know, without like having to like you know. All 
I don't know if that is basically, but whatever. You can right click the brand office, basically, you know, menu stuff. You can basically see what you can do to it. So you can see the material for this thing. Um, there's an animated wood, just uh, horsey. Back to metal. I make it like, you know, blue horsey. Not exactly sure what that does, basically, if you can do anything to it, but whatever. Flip to night. I scale up the really, really big. Big horsey. But yeah, so it's basically a help menu that can, like, you know, use basically to find stuff, so. There's a lot of controls. There's a blindfold option, by the way, if you want to basically like, do type of thing where you have to blindfold yourself so that people can't see what you're doing, or you can't see what other people are doing. <clears throat> Lore, multi-grab is T. Multi-select is apparently control. Alright, so... Yeah, I drop a whole lot of stuff in the thing here. So let's see here, I can do that. There you go, basically you can press control and basically grab stuff like that. And most by if, if I do like this and like I start, you know, start like jostling everything together. You notice I it'll eventually all like sort of like, you know, congeal eventually at some point some of this stuff. Well, most of the time it congeals. There we go, that congealed. Take these things. Well, whatever. Let's just flip the table. Yeah, basically when you're finished again, you can kick the table. That's something you can do. Alright, well you basically get the idea what this game's gonna be all about, or physics engine, I guess you could say. It's not really a game, it's more of a simulation of things. And basically there is a lot of stuff you can basically do in this game, so if we go for the DLCs here, you can see some of the games they have here, so... They've got like, you know, Zomicide... Other stuff in here, Mr. Game... Africa What... I'm just going to go to the main menu here and then quit. Really probably the best place to go would be the tabletop simulator, so... Tabletop simulator... Um, mods and stuff, I guess. Mods and communities, so... Stuff like that. Let's go like this, I guess. Basically, there's a Steam Workshop, right? So... Go in here. And, like, if you want, you can, like, buy it, like, a whole, get a whole lot of stuff, basically, you can basically play from here, right? So, there's board games you can basically play. Crystal Ball... There's Dark Souls edited asset assets apparently. Trivia Challenge. That's in Adrenaline 3.0. And that's actually something basically know about this game, so we're gonna get into that as well. Um, this is a game table up simulator that basically has got a workshop and people have like you know mod a lot of like you know copyright games like say from say uh, Game Shop. And I don't think they're exactly too happy about it because essentially you can get to play their games for free if you like go to like play a mod of their game. On like the tabletop simulator, but um, basically that's what you know it's all about. There's gonna be a few games that basically we'll probably play at some point in the future, um, with like Magmar and um, uh, Quarsh Knight. But that's just a sort of a quick intro to show off what it's all about. I hope you guys enjoy it and take care.